Okay, testing number two. With the Osmo, this time we do 16.9 with a PL filter. Hopefully it turns out well. It's an overcast day. My whole idea is, without putting too many ND or PL filter in different stops, which I, I see that's almost impossible in the bright sunny day, I might have to purchase a bright day ND PL filter. But it looks like, if I just, you know, in this type of environment, overcast, I think the Osmo should be able to handle itself. It's my neighbor's truck. Everyone check it out, check it out, check it out. It's a lowrider truck. Uh, yeah. It seems okay. I adjust the angle with the cell phone. I had to link and uh, readjust the angle a little bit. Before it was pointing too much up. It was a 4-3 ratio screen and I had to bring the bottom of the 4-3 all the way up to the top so as far as I'm considered that was the angle is too high anyways now I should be able to relax and do this video the goal is to get GMC the emblem or the Corvette as the Corvette sign emblem as the bottom of the screen and the top of the screen is just whatever uh, I gathered this from another video the average people actually prefer more comfortable when they drive or in the PLV, PLV view in a lot of higher end magazines. They figure out the viewers get disoriented or get nauseous if it's just the front view. Uh, there's always need a point of reference. So half of the screen should be stable. In order to do that, uh, wide angle lens, in this case um, a good camera angle placement should be able to do that. Uh, in, so half the screen you guys see should be stabilized. Not stabilized, I mean the it's not moving, basically. Uh, hence, it's the emblem up all the way to the front of the hood. Nothing's moving and the rest is flying by. So this way it's not so nauseous. For most of there's a Porsche. Sunday morning Porsche drive. And we look at this one Angus cow out there. Let's see if we get any cows, cowboys, today. So yesterday Corvette's testing video was so overexposed, there's no way to see what even happening. In this case, hopefully this is not so overexposed. I mean looking at where I'm driving, it's just more of a reference thing. The audio, the visual of the entire dashboard, now you guys get to see the ducky. It's more, um, I think it's more of what vlogging is about. Once in a while you can get out and see what other kids are doing there's people playing basketball now now it's allowed before that part this park was shut down for 2020 most of 2020 you it wasn't allowed to play basketball or anything now it's open and people can can play as most of vaccine two thirds of vaccine already dish out at least one shot of it so watch downhill speed this part of the road there's always cop at this or the next one just waiting for people to fly down 60 70 miles an hour the speed for this is 45 to 50 which is not slow also not fast some people think they drive 35 and causing people you know causing the whole traffic to slow down but it's actually 45 to 50 but if you get over cocky get up to 60 70 the police just they're waiting for you there's a great braking active this truck is awesome it brakes for me This guy is looking at his phone while he's walking. So yesterday I uploaded this video. I don't think many people watched it because they hit like simultaneously within the same minute. The video is 10 minutes long. You can really hit like for both videos in the same minute if you never watched it. It's okay. My, my YouTube channel is restarting from one of the top 10 YouTube channel back in the days, 2005. So we'll redo everything. My Instagram channel is a pathetic. It was up a little bit for 20,000 followers and now I remove about 15,000 followers. A lot of junk and not related to car stuff. 
am I hunting for my personal YouTube video? I mean, Instagram. It's not happening, I guess. Uh, not currently. But it's okay. Slowly will take off, I think. A lot of people... This is, this is what I don't get. Most of the content online is just junk. When you put out great content, I don't think it really matters if the content is a shock value or junk, junk sharing. You know, a lot of people do some burnouts and do some heinous eye-catching video that almost had no value at all just to get that two seconds of attention. Yeah, it's a lot of sharing, a lot of views, but there's nothing really contained in the video. Try to do some educational DIY, something people can learn. But as a fact knows, that's how I guess, I guess that's how I get popular before because I was young and I just talking about a bunch of shit, make junk videos. People like junk videos. I mean, like you're watching right now, this is considered more of a junk video in my point of view. But it attracts people. You get thousands of millions of views doing this. So, I gotta call this a uh, Osmo testing video for the lighting and shit. But I know it's gonna get a lot more views than my DIY video because it's junk. People just like junk videos. Immature. I guess it's entertaining. In a way, that's why people watch Housewife of Hollywood or drama videos that I can't even stand for less than a minute. Just make, the point of that is to make people stupid. But, look at this. Look at this thing. Wow, that's a good looking Jeep. The yellow, the retro looking, even the, the side open back hatch door. It's pretty impressive. Small, almost look like a older version of Land Rover Defender the one Queen's half or just Land Rover not Defender um yeah I like it so it got a canvas back canvas top plastic fenders let's see if I can get closer so we'll look at some side views of this Jeep yeah, and the, the older hinges. Oh, I went too fast. Damn it. I need to turn anyways. So this is part of Chino. We're in Chino, California. Chino Hills or whatever. Some Mexican name, Spanish name for this place. Look at that truck, just like mine, but... Oh, they're going off-road bumper. Um, yeah. Especially in California, a lot of cities' names just Spanish. Well, it's not really Mexican, I would say. It's just Spanish from back in the Spanish conquistadors, conquistador or conquerors. Spanish flee from Spain when they conquer, when they almost the Western United States before uh, the Union bought where we are at right now as of United States, fifty states. So, this is original. I don't even know it's a city name, maybe just a region. I don't know anything about this history, I'm just talking junk. But people like videos like this. Junk talking. Junk talk. I really encourage people to unfollow me if they hate this type of video, because I do too. What I'm going to get right now is a Chinese rice ball. Chinese rice ball, as in closing fan tuan in Chinese. Fan tuan is a... Um, it's, it's basically rice bowl packed with a bunch of stuff. Um, originally, it's not really Chinese, it's more Japanese. Rice bowl. And I basically have this since I was young. Uh, it isn't really invent by Chinese. It's just more of adoption by Chinese. Look at all these Chinese people walking towards... So it's it's, uh, it's owned by Ime, you can see in front of me. There's people walking into it. Some guy with the three quarter pants. I'm gonna try to walk in there and get Chinese rice ball. I don't think they will well, allow me to film anything in there. So, Mibo, just wait. I'll see you later after I get a Ch Chinese rice ball. A quick look of what Chinese rice ball looks like. Look like that. Bunch of stuff in it. And I also got a bunch of other stuff. Obviously. Oh, let me take my mask off. 
Put this in the back seat. Like I said, this is a an Osmo camera testing. Let's see if the angle is correct for the driving and vlogging. It's perfect lighting today because it's overcast. So this we don't get crazy bright out there. The interior of the car is very similar to ex what's outside right now. Maybe just a little brighter. One stop, two stop. Maybe just a one stop filter. Then a filter will do. But but when you do that, when you go with a higher stop filter, uh, the interior will become dark. So it's vice versa. You either get a bright interior or you get a bright exterior. So I choose to have a brighter interior than the exterior. For the very reason why... Um, because there's no really a point for you to see where I'm going. It's just traffic. You don't need to figure out where I'm going. You don't need to figure out where I live. It's just pointless. I can give you my address. There's no point. My neighbor knows where I'm living. My neighbors all know my video, so who cares? So, but if you come to my house, I mean, I'm gonna shoot you. So here's a, here's a, here's the one. Looking at the interior, it's more of a foreground thing. And I think that's more interesting. The speed, the steering wheels moving around, inside where I'm looking, I'm looking at my dog. Right? And you just kind of see what exactly is happening outside. But it's not really that important. i give you the guy in front of me, his license plate number. <laughs> Go to his house. Let's see. What you doing? What you doing? Wait, 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 wait. So it's actually a nice day to take the dog out. Otherwise, I have to keep the car all running. Um, I have a dummy key, but it's not chipped, so you can't drive the car. But allow me to turn all the accessories on. It's kind of interesting. GMC had this uh, anti-theft system. In every key, there's a chip in it. So if you use the wrong key, you can start up the car. But you, but if you uh, but if you have the key with the previous key combined, use the previous chip momentarily, what you could have done is to hack the system to trick that key is on. That key has the power to turn on the car. But, again, if you turn that key off, the car doesn't go anywhere. I guess you can keep the car running until it runs out of the gas. Um, but as soon as you turn the key off, the car won't start without the chip. So that's kind of cool. But I use that key to keep the entire car cool. I have this sign I got from Walmart. Because I, the last thing I want is someone to break my window, like some idiot. Uh, doesn't know I have the AC on. Of course, you're not supposed to leave your dog in the car or anybody else in the car in a hot car during the summer. But you can keep the AC running, so it's very cold inside. And that's fine. It's just, uh, it's, all, it's no difference than you sitting in the parking lot and turn the AC on, you're not really going anywhere. There's no point someone to come break your window if the whole car is cool. So I got a sign. I have a sign up, of an AC sign up. It's just showing people, um, uh, you know, with my phone number on it, obviously, if they're really concerned about it, they can call me on the sign, and um, I'll pick it up and, and say, hey, get back to your car, you got a dog in the car. Now it says, hey, the, the car is on, the AC is on, there's people, you know, it's totally fine. If they insist me to come back before they try to break my window, maybe I'll come back. There's always some nut job out there, doesn't understand exactly the fact. The fact is not you don't leave stuff in your car in a hot day. The fact is the car, inside the car gets super hot and it's uncomfortable for humans and any pets, you, you can kill them. But not if the inside the car is 70 degrees, 80 degrees, 60 degrees under AC, air conditioning is running. You don't try to, you don't kill people when you're driving, there's air conditioning. You don't break into other people's house and try to rescue people, that'd be hilarious. You break into other people's house, try to rescue them, even if they have their AC on, just says it's hot day, I'm coming here to rescue you. Which will be dumb. You try to go rescue other people in an excuse to break into their house or their car. Say, so, hey, look, this, uh, this, this, you literally can use that excuse to break into any car. So the car is hot. I'm afraid your CD, your CD, not your CD, I mean your, uh, what else, your drink is gonna get hot. I better break your window. It's California, man. It's so stupid. California, they, they have this law allow you to do that, which you, you should, and you should be able to. But if you give them every reason not to, 
some idiot, you'll prevent some idiot try to break your window for no reason. That's that. So, I mean, you're not gonna break my window just to save my ducky. My ducky is totally fine. Uh, yesterday, it's been out of the sun for a while. I, I, I did a little Google search. So, of course, the video's gonna go viral. Um, the ducky in this container, I used a silicon. Not silicon. Um, yeah, I used silicon glue all the way around it, sealed it, tested it, set it under the sun before I incast into this resin. All the sink is underneath, embedded inside the resin. So there's multiple protections. There's the UV silicon glue that already sealed, set under the sun, doesn't leak. And then I'm casting a clear solid, right now it's solid as hell, solid resin over it um, to allow any liquid to leak out under pressure is very difficult but even if it's tried to let's say if it's sit under the sun this is what the research gave me this oil and water uh when it heats up in 100 degrees uh 100 degrees celsius is it celsius 100 degree fahrenheit not celsius 100 degree fahrenheit the average water from 80 to 100 creates 15 psi and when it reaches 150 fahrenheit the temperature, in, uh, the pressure in the container reaches 27 psi. 27 psi is equivalent to a, a very weak tire pressure, but it's still not very much. 27 psi, you can hold it with your finger, your thumb. So there is pressure trying to escape that. Let's say if we hit 200, 220, 300 degrees, this will reach about 50, 60 psi. Maybe that gets a little crazy. And that's what I want to test out for. If it does burst, it's just gonna... I'm not sure it's gonna explode. Because it's not a glass. Even glass, it doesn't explode. So, looks like there's a little crack here. It might shoot out the excess gas. And because it's on top, it's just gonna empty some air. Maybe a little bit of oil. I highly doubt it's gonna blow up. To blow this thing up, you'll probably need like 300 to 400 PSI. Not even. Because that would, we're only talking about 300 to 400 PSI, that would be less than a bar. Less than a bar of atmosphere, so I highly doubt that would do anything. So, the cool thing about truck, let's get back to something really fun. The truck is really stable. When I drive Corvette any other car in a curve like this, I feel like I'm about to throw out the... leaving the curve with the tension line. But in the truck, it's so stable, it's, it's, it's actually fantastic. I was gonna show that Lexus. The chance of you passing me. It's, 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 yeah, I guess I was driving slow. It's not really his fault or her fault. But I can go through that hill over there while everyone traveling about 40 to 50 miles an hour. So it's 45 here. This truck can do about 80, 85. I even hit about 90 on that hill before, just cruising down, basing on the gravity. And uh, it, was, it was so stable. I think it's because the wider tire and the wider stand of the, the vehicle um, allow me to be so stabilized and that, that's the crazy part it's not low to the ground so another theory is because the truck is so long so wide it really holds it and it, it has the factory suspension which is fairly rigid it's not a custom suspension well we do have a lift kit in the front with a different suspension in the front that might help but um, but it's also stiff I have a very stiff suspension here uh, shock system not the soft off-road ones you can have a lot of travel it does have travel but it will take a lot of footage for pound to to create travel um with a harder suspension wider tire wider body this is as wide as a hummer i wouldn't well okay maybe i'm exaggerating maybe just like a few inches shorter maybe like two inches shorter than a hummer but two inches not much i mean we're talking about like this maybe three inches i highly the hummer is much wider than this car this truck so um yeah, it really make a big difference. In the Corvette, when it goes through that, I barely feel I'm turning. I probably can hit that corner, I don't know, a lot higher speed than it is. But the crazy part is, I I can't, my, I won't allow myself to go any faster than 70, 80 through that corner for a very good reason. Corvette has a very big tire that is performance tire, unlike this type of tire, okay? So this tire heats up fairly quick because it's a, daily driving tire so it, the temperature goes out fairly quick i can tell from my tire pressure this is the only thing i have i can tell uh, i always have it my tire pressure on gauge uh system on i get to see the tire pressure increases as the tire warms up fairly quick 
in the Corvette because the tire is so big, it heats up very slow. When it when the tire is not up to the temperature, there's no traction. Look how sick that Honda Civic is. It's insane with the white wheels and lowered it. So what happened is when you have a very cold tire on those ultra high performance summer tires, they rarely have any traction. Maybe you only have like 30% or less traction in the in those tires. So I reluctant to go any faster than I have to in the Corvette when the tire is not worn up because the chance of that thing slide out and not gripping anything is so great because the tire is so hard. It's not sticky. It's just a hard tire, not up to the temperature. Once it's up to the temperature, it's very nice. I can travel and go through the hill, maybe like 100 miles, 120 miles, no problem. Or maybe even 150 miles, like in the race cars. But when the car is, the tire is so cold, I mean, even 60 miles, you could, in the wrong turn, it could slide right out. So, well, thanks for watching. I'm home now. Talk to you later. Check out the video, see if this camera angle works.